okay uh, so in the previous video i uh, teach you how to pass method uh, or pass parameters to the method and how to pass that data to the corresponding view and how to uh, show that data uh, as well uh, now i will uh, teach you how to specify the configuration folder inside our folder structure so configurations means basically uh, the stuffs that is need to stay static uh, but uh, due to organizational decisions it can be changed by the time like what the database name so database name is some sort of a configurational parameter a configure configured parameter that is static right the db database name for example it's a simple epic db but maybe after later on that database name can be changed okay so obviously we are use already has been used that exact same name inside so many places within our uh, program code so if we change such a configurational parameter or database name then we have to change all the stuffs all the corresponding parameters or names uh, all the function or anything like that inside the con uh, inside the uh, in inside our program code so it is not quite good and uh, if our uh, system is very large it is quite uh, difficult thing to do such architectural changes or configurational changes so that's why we are using config file inside our config folder so we don't need to change each and everything if such a thing was changed later on so config.php so i will need to load this config.php using our bootloader so load configurations so require once config config.php so what are the stuffs you need to store in the configuration folder so obviously we are using uproot in many cases so we don't need to explicitly uh, or uh, again and again declare it so instead of that we can make it as a configure parameter so maybe right now you won't see what i'm you won't uh, understand what i am saying right now maybe okay uh, but later on you will see how much useful this configuration file so i will declare uproot so uproot means basically this folder content uh, root okay because we know this is a url root which is specifies as uh, local or simple something like that the approach means it's not like that it's if you go to cmd so this is some sort of approach okay application root so how, how do we get the application root we are simply calling the director name directory name so i, I have to go to directories inside then all the uh, two director direct, directories back and call the file uh, global object so that's the app root uh, now if i go to the the about page and maybe let's say app root so php echo app if i go to the web browser and load it so here is our app root so likewise i can declare our url root as well so url root so define url root so define is basically some sort of immutable variable right it's not like a dollar sign variable name 
uh, if you declare it as a define then it's, it's, it's static you can't uh, change it again and again so uh, in my case the url root will be something like this okay http local or simple api if you're going to change the folder name later on you only you have to do is uh, you have to do is uh, just change this name right then uh, maybe since this is a website i will call this as a website name uh, so define site name so in my case let's say simple epic right now uh, if i go to the title maybe i can call this as php call site name so now it's just about but if i click reload it i will show it as simple epic nice uh so i think that's how we declare the configuration folder and uh, again uh, the controller oh no not the controller uh, but the bootloader i i explicitly load the libraries like that but i can even use the spl auto load register method as well if you know about that uh, please uh, do your experiments but uh, for now i think uh, if i load the libraries like this it will be uh, more uh, clear for the very beginners but if you are some sort of intermediate user intermediate uh, developer you can use this spl auto load register method to load these specific libraries okay it's, it's just some additional thing that i mentioned but uh, this episode is entirely focused about to declare in this configuration folder and these are its results okay okay i think uh, for now that's enough and i will show you in the next video